Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in our laboratory. And it is time, my friends, for our wonderful Veronica, our bear-suited lab assistant, to go into hibernation because she is now an elder and we are going to need a new lab assistant to help us out with all of these amazing animals. Look at this, we have Gustin over here. He is still looking fantastic. Jeff sporting that patchy look just like always and then we have dream crystal who come on guys she was definitely quite the creation veronica you did excellent on this puppers and here we thought that dream crystal's puppy would maybe have you know her blood red eyes maybe there would be a little bit of that purple crystal undertone but instead we ended up with bobby one of the most wholesome puppers to ever grace our random laboratory. And we also ended up with a one-eyed cat named Xavier going on to have a very unique Halloween cat named Emerald and Dream Crystal, which as Veronica actually pointed out in our comments last time, was really cool because we have Emerald and Dream Crystal. They're both kind of gemstone names. So apparently a lot of you guys like to go by gemstone aliases, which is pretty awesome. Fun fact, I actually have cousins who are named after gemstones, like their actual names, which is pretty cool. But we have our mixed Persian Dream Crystal, who actually was rescued from having a skeleton tail. We re-rolled his tail since if a kitten is born with the skeleton tail, we'll tweak it. And he has three tails! A beautiful two-color-eyed, bi-color-eyed, white Persian mix with these gorgeous three tails. He is fantastic and perfect for winter now that I think about it. So you guys know the drill by now. This is our random pets genetics challenge. We roll a number using 1 through 12 and we name all of the animals that we create after you guys. And we also create the lab assistants after you guys too. So we're we're just going to pick right up where we have left off for many, many episodes now, over a year of doing this actually, and we're going to be adding in a brand new lab assistant. First thing! All right, and this is actually going to be, are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? But I would like to introduce Dead. all of you, dun 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 dun! to Wendy. So thank you, Wendy, so much for your sweet comment in our last video and welcome to being our lab assistant. And fun fact, Wendy, although we are using your name, so we won't be using your cat's name, Cece, I actually have a lot of Cece's in our Nicheling series for our niche Let's Plays. And I just thought that was really cute when I saw that your cat is named Cece, uh, like S-I-S-I. -S -I. We have a lot of Nichelings in our niche Let's Plays who are named that too. So you might find your cat reborn many, many times in those episodes, even though we're going to be using your name for lab assistant. Uh, lab assistant. Whoop, there we go. I think that's too many S's. Lab assistant. Dunt? Oh no. It's one of the, it's one of those things where you see it once and you're like, uh oh, uh, I've been looking at too many words today. <laughs> But all right, we're going to go ahead and roll for how Wendy is going to look. And then today, you guys, I rolled the dice to see what we are going to be working on. And the answer is the 98th pupper is coming. We are going to have our 98th and 99th dogs in our laboratory, closing in on the 100th dog in the family tree. And when we will start going to extreme genetics challenge pretty soon here, too. So this is going to be very exciting. But all right, let's go ahead and randomize everything about Wendy. For this one, we are just going to be randomizing body shape, skin tone, and voice six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, Wendy. Okay. And now we're going to come up here and we are actually going to change your hair to any kind of hairstyle eight times. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Wendy, that looks really nice. Wow. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh. Wendy's into the gemstones. It's going to be really exciting to see what your aspiration is going to be, actually. Maybe you want to have something to do with wealth. Are we becoming famous? Have I been gaining fame points from our wonderful experiments? That would be very exciting if we could attract some deeply scientific minds and maybe even a grant or two for our projects. But all right, let's go ahead and just begin with the nose because the nose knows 12 times. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Awesome! And then the eyes are gonna be nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh boy. All right, eyebrows, we will let them match the hair. It makes so many of you climb up the walls when it doesn't. Three times. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, what's next? Cheekbones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, what have I not gotten? The mouth. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to go for the chin once. And then we are going to change the jaw 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Then we are going to be changing the head shape seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's so much to change. And finally, Wendy, we are going to see if you are part of the Big Ear Small Ear Club. Don't worry, if you get big ears, you might get a pair of very fancy earrings. So, one. Okay, Wendy, you are part of the Big Ear Club. You wear them proudly. That's why your hair is up after all. And we are going to go ahead and give you the wonderful accessory of uh, a random pair of earrings. I think I have to just close my eyes and be like, la di da di da di da Why is there not a random button? Who knows? This one? Whoops. That is, okay, I think that you're getting these earrings, Wendy. We're gonna give you a nice pair of plum bobs and put you back in your day clothes. Whoops, where's the plum bobs? All right, there we go. There we are, I closed my eyes and somehow I like put her in her swimsuit. Uh, all right, nice. Wendy's not ashamed of her ears. She's gonna, just like I have a big nose, she's gonna wear those big ears proudly and I think that's awesome. All right, so let's see what her lab attire is going to be with the fifth full body outfit that she gets. One, two, three, four, five. That's awesome! Wendy, you look great! Wow, she actually looks like a space captain. Maybe that bodes well for our animals that we are about to have. Wow, Wendy! I love it. I don't even know where I got that custom content. It's just plumped into my, like, my area somehow. That's pretty cool. Uh, all right, where was I? Uh, actually, I think that's just like an unlocked suit somehow. All right, so we're gonna change Wendy's aspiration now. She is going to have the 11th aspiration, which is gonna be nature. And then one, two, three, four, five. So then she's going to, oh my gosh. She actually got the curator. That's so funny. <laughs> so she does like shiny gemstones. Maybe she stores them in her hair. That is fantastic. Wendy, you are turning into a really awesome sim. I kind of want to plunk down as a regular just to walk around. Uh, where was I? All right, you're gonna be a genius apparently. And then you are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A self assured. Wow, she is just like, I've got this in the bag. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, wow, she's just like entirely emotional too. Uh, and then we are gonna have, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, but a little gloomy. Oh, a little bit, a little bit of a struggle, Wendy, but welcome to the random labarkatory. All right, we're gonna go ahead and release a whole bunch of the cats. Goodbye, Gustin. Goodbye, Jeff. Goodbye, Dream Crystal, actually. Okay, you're staying, Bobby. Uh, goodbye, Xavier. Goodbye, Emerald. All right, they're all off to the puppy play yard and the cat catio. And now we are going to be making a large dog mate for Bobby. Let me go ahead and get some fresh numbers for our randomness and a new name. Da -na 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 -na. Here we go, here we go. All right, Bobby, it is time to create a new dog. And we did roll for a large breed dog. Oh my gosh. But we have an English toy spaniel who apparently really wants to be part of you would you would definitely add in some unique head shape genetics little puppers hang in there my friend uh, but we're actually going to be breeding a large dog today uh, I did roll for large so we're going to randomize five times and if we don't end up on the large dog we will continue to randomize until we find one one two whoops come back over here oh I love Great Danes we've had so many Danes in my family I really love them. Two, three, four, five. <gasps> no!
No way! An old English sheepdog mix? This is gonna be awesome! Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, we're almost there. Now we are going to be randomizing 12 times with this old English sheepdog as the breed that we are randomly mixing together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, look at this puppers. I would like to introduce you guys to Jack. So this is Jack and he is actually going to be our 98th canine here in the family tree and i'm very excited to see what he is going to turn out to be we'll roll his traits uh at the end for once let's go ahead and change his body uh 11 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven there we go now we're going to be changing his ears nose and eyes but not his head shape so that he can try to keep some of that uniqueness so his ears we're going to change twice one two oh once on the nose and then the eyes we will be changing nine times one two three four five six seven eight nine oh look at you jack i love your your multicolored eyes like gemstones oh, maybe that's what wendy is kind of adding in is a little bit of a touch of gemstones into our lab that is so cool all right time to play tail or no tail uh, or twirly tail or cow tail or horse tail with the dogs. Nine times. All right, come here, Jack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and then we have to roll again because it hit skeleton. There we go. <laughs> All right, there we go, guys. And now we're, oh, look at the happy puppers. This is a really perky puppers. Now we're going to change the coloration. So we're gonna be changing this three times. One, two, three. Oh, look at you, a little bit of adobe look to you, huh? And then we're going to be changing all these colors. One, two, three, four. Uh, oh, an all black dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, okay, all right. Let's see where we're going here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten eleven twelve oh my gosh okay guys we have somehow managed to veer from sheepdog to irish setter but that's really exciting and i love the gemstone colored eyes so let's see what wendy is going to do are we finally going to end up with some of the more extreme genetics or are we gonna have to wait till we hit the 100th plus dog and we'll always try to be rolling for these powerful random genetics let's find out eight times one two oh my three four five six seven eight okay we ironically have a, a woman who looks like she is ready to be a cadet in space and a dog who is ready to go to outer space i don't think that is a coincidence but let's go ahead take off all of the pet clothes it looks like he's wearing a pumpkin under his head uh what else do we have on let's see there's that and has anything else changed? All right, no, okay, so Jack is just a space-faring puppers. That is so exciting. I love the idea that Wendy is actually a cadet in space and she loves to collect all sorts of rare space minerals and gemstones. And that she may have actually made a couple bionic space eyes for Jack, which seems pretty exciting. So Jack is a hairy puppers, and then he is also going to be, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a smart dog who, one, two, three, is also very vocal. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we mix Bobby and Jack's DNA to create the 99th puppers. And we get to see five times. So the fifth child between the two is the one that we will be keeping. Uh, oh, look at the gemstone eyes. So this would be daughter number one, daughter number two, number three, aw, number four, and Number five, <laughs> a small puppers. Bobby, somehow you have held in there, but we ended up with another gemstone eye, which I think is adorable. All right, this is going to be our 99th pup, 
And this is going to be Dash after Dash PPK or PPX. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family tree. You are now the 99th dog. And next time we roll dogs, we will be having the 100th dog in the family tree and then permanently shifting the puppers to more extreme genetics. Let's go ahead and pick her lovely little traits. She is active, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A sleuth, one, two, three, four, five. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and independent, and has gemstone eyes that Wendy has put into our pups. That is very exciting. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. You know the drill by now. If you would like to become a lab assistant or one of our puppers or cats, if we roll cats next time, then do please leave your comments down below. Be sure to subscribe to become a member of our wonderful Labarcatory, and leave a like to let our little ones know that they are well loved and leave some treats for them. And if you guys could, do keep an eye on things because I do believe that there is some custom content being dropped in an advent calendar by Caltron, who is our wonderful modder who has created so many amazing things. Uh, Kalintron, even. I always say her name wrong because I got it in my head that it's Caltron for some reason. But she has an advent calendar going on that she's sharing right now. And so far it has an adorable Santa hat and a Christmas wreath. But I wonder if there might be more that we might want to show off coming up in the future. So keep an eye out there for me, would you guys? And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!